Hey guys, it's Abella or Izzy if you're new here, and if you're already acquainted, you know the vibe. Okay, I'm not joking, no more guys, them, them know me. Since 06, I've been writing this story. So today, I'll be taking out my hair, and yo, yo, will not believe what time it is right now. It's 1.57 a.m. And you may be wondering, why is this girl trying to take her hair out in the evening? Why can't she wait till the end of the day like a normal person <laughs> to take out your hair? Yeah. I'm honestly trying to figure out myself. I don't know why I'm doing this to my girl, but I have the energy now, so it's like, I might as well start. And then if I get tired, I will just you know stop but yeah so whilst I will be taking out my hair I'll be telling you guys how I went from this to this I've always wondered, do you guys think I look good nice with a ball? I don't know, I never like doing short braids because I feel like I'll never look nice in it. But let me guys let me know if you think if you think this has potential. If like if I did feel please, this would be nice. I don't know, personally, I don't think so. So the first thing the first thing that I started doing when I was on my weight loss journey was I stopped drinking soda. Like, yeah, soda was a big thing because I used to drink a lot of soda. And it was, not gonna lie, it's it can be very addictive. Like, every, maybe every function you go to, you have like a lot of soda, like you're at home, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, I used to drink soda a lot. But it's actually funny how I actually stopped. So, it's like my mind was not as weight loss. The first time I stopped drinking soda, my mom's friends, children were doing this challenge where they were trying to see who could stay off soda the longest, right? And I found that very like funny, but I was like ha ah, ha ha. But look at me after I kind of adopted it, because like weight loss had always been on my mind. I was like, I really want to lose weight, because you know, just yeah, I just want to lose weight for myself, honestly. And so I just said, you know what, considering how much sugar is in soda, it would be best to just cut it off um, as a whole. So I stopped drinking soda. When I say I stopped drinking soda, even to this day, I, I don't drink soda because I'm so used to not drinking soda. So that, like, even when I have it now, it's just like, oh, like, what's this taste? Like, I'm not saying it's bad or me, I'm not like, but you know what i'm saying instead of soda i started drinking juice i know yeah juice can also be sugary like you know fruit juice and stuff like that but i just tended to drink more of juice than soda and i think that really helped with the weight loss doing more smoothies than juice i think i would have probably done that if i had known more about it and i was like more you know knowledgeable about that smoothie feel because i know there's so many smoothies that can help you with weight loss these healthy smoothies so i think i would have done that in like to substitute juice since i know how much sugar they'd be putting in juice aside from soda i also i stopped i stopped eating ice cream as much and so yeah i had ice cream like once in a blue moon type thing i didn't eat it that much and that's another thing that really helped me
Number two, reducing my portions. I don't know if y'all can relate, but it's like when you go home and they have cooked something already, you can't say oh me I'm eat. Unless maybe before you went to school and they're like, oh, what do you want to eat before you come? You're like, you don't have to eat it. So what I did was like if it was a meal that was not necessarily so healthy. I would just reduce my portions i wouldn't eat as much so that i'm not gonna be gaining as much calories if that makes sense yeah so i just made sure to control my calories in that way instead of just kind of stop eating altogether and i know it's hard like sometimes especially if you're on, like a weight loss journey it's just it's just you in the house doing it you can't you know tell the whole house or everybody in your house to, like change their whole diet just because of you well personally i just feel like that's that's just too much you know so just kind of making those um adjustments for yourself so that you stay on track or if you're older I would suggest following a meal prep plan i didn't do that during my weight loss journey but i think it's something is good it's something good to um implement especially because now you be in control of the calories you you gain One of the last tips I'm going to give you all Now I know this one is going to be hard It's going to be very hard But avoiding stress eating Or basically not eating when you're not hungry You know how sometimes you're just there And you know you're just feeling like mm, I just want something in my mouth Yeah, don't don't encourage that that urge <laughs> just or if it's extremely hard for you just substitute it with something that's healthy like a granola bar or something like that because that's something that i definitely really dealt with i like to just eat things even to this day honestly i still do with it sometimes you get in the night and i'm just like oh like i'm feeling a bit like your mind is basically playing games with you saying that you like you you are hungry you're hungry but you really aren't you just you're just bored and you just want to have something in your mouth also when you're stressed you are bound to just you know feel like oh if i eat this you know it's gonna make me feel better like in the moment you'll be feeling better but later on you'll be like dang i could have not ate this and you know gain these amounts of calories as you guys can see i am I'm almost done, I guess. It's just this much, this much left. I'll probably come back when I am officially done. I finally finished my hair. It's for, I'm transferring my <laughs> the videos to my laptop, but it's for 42 now. And I just finished. I'm so exhausted. So I'm gonna I'm gonna close this video off here and I'll see you guys and I'll see y'all in the next video.